today I am making or showing you how to make a waffle iron or waffle maker. In French it's gaufrier, um, if, if you care to know. And in German it's, um, I don't know, waffle, waffle, okay, whatever. I digress, as usual. Missed, missed my digression? Probably not. So, I start off with a thin sheet of clay, of black clay, and then, as you can see, I'm just, I'm just making square indents, and I'm using for that a metal ruler that is thick but not too thick. And so I made four by four um, on each side, I made it twice. And in the middle, you want to be sure to add uh, just one ridge, so be careful not to go it full, and then cut out the excess. And now I'm making something really fancy, but a little bit annoying. So if you, you don't feel safe doing this, maybe just skip that part. I'm basically just removing some clay, so um, I'm, I'm adding some edges to the top, so it looks a bit... Crooked, no, not crooked, diamondish, I guess. Word reference tells me um, crooked or askew, <laughs> so I hope that helps. But as you can see, it's basically like a real waffle maker, so nothing too incredible. And I made it obviously on both sides. And here I want to add um, the, um, the outside edges, and for that I'm just added the same thickness of clay that I used to make the first part all around and then I'm just cutting so you have very thin a very thin outside layer and then I bake I make two of them obviously and then I bake and now I'm adding more um, more of the waffle maker Simply put, you start with the waffle grill and then you make the maker all around. So I'm making the bottom and the top, and the top I'm just uh, also adding a tiny hole to make the handle, as you can see, and I'm just straightening everything out with silicone tools, and then I'm cutting out the excess clay and rounding everything up by just pushing against it and cutting some excess. And I'm also making the hinges, hinges out of polymer clay. For that I used some wire, I always use stainless steel. And then I just wrapped uh, some clay all around. And then I'm reducing it a bit with the hand by smooshing everything down and cutting again the excess clay before baking everything. So now everything is baked. And I'm cutting the hinges uh, more so the size fits um, the waffle maker. As you can see here, I'm just checking the size. And I'm going to cut out two, two rectangles out of the waffle maker. So um, this is where the hinges are going to be. Now before adding the hinges, you also want to um, make the outside layer of the waffle maker because right now it's not really pretty so just add another coat uh, another layer of clay around cut everything all the excess out and then smooth ev smooth everything oh here important note um, i made the waffle maker not heavy enough on the bottom so uh, so it actually tips if it, it cannot uh, once it's open it tips over So you want to maybe add more weight to it. I'm not sure it will actually work, but that might be a solution anyway So you added the sheet of clay you baked it and now I'm adding another sheet of clay because I wanted a metallic look on top of it so I'm just adding some gray clay on top and again, smoothing out the edges. And here I'm adding the tiny lights. You want them to be dark because they are going to be out. Um, so I just mix some, some green and red with some black paint, uh, paint, black clay, sorry about that. And yeah, that's about it. And then, and then you can add the hinges, finally. So basically you just want to add a bit of clay where the hinges are going to go so it it sticks better to it 
and then add the hinges on top. I know that part can be a little scary because you are afraid that it's not going to work out well, but just go with it. If it doesn't work, you can still remove the clay by cutting it out and trying again. I did that. And then bake everything together and once it's baked and cooled off, just go ahead and paint in black, uh, well the black part. And the metal I used alcohol based ink and for the inside I used a metal acrylic paint which is less opaque and give that uh, inside Teflon a nice shine. And last but certainly not least, I made the plug. I used a caoutchouc cord, just be sure that it was thin the heat, and I used some wire and some black um, clay. Simple as that. And then I just um, sculpted it all around and baked everything and just glued it to the waffle maker. So I very much hope you enjoyed this video. It's not one of the easiest, but it's quite, uh, it's quite fun. If you liked it, maybe give it a thumbs up and maybe also subscribe. That would make me so, so happy. And you might also enjoy the miniature blender I make. And I very much hope to see you in my next video next week. Bye!